Hey, Jeff Howard here at kiteboarding.com and wingboarding.com. Well, one of the biggest questions that I get is about wetsuit technology, about I get a guy that comes in and he's freezing cold and he's wondering why I'm warmer or questioning me. This is unbelievably how cold it is and it is definitely the cold water season right now in the winter. But I wanna talk about the wetsuit technology. So this guy comes in and he's cold and I ask him about his wetsuit. I say, if you touch the water, do you feel it? And he's like, yes, this is an old scuba suit um, or it's an old suit. And I tell him it's so different nowadays. Wetsuits have changed dramatically. Main things that they get into is tape seams, the stretchability and the flexibility of the neoprene and sealed neoprene. A lot of people don't understand what we're talking about. They used to call them, uh, put them on their semi dries. Well, what that means is the neoprene is sealed. So if you put on a new type of suit that it's a semi dry or pretty much, you know, I've got the Mystics here and the Majestics, it's a sealed neoprene, which means when you contact that water, when you touch it, you will not feel it hit your body. That water does not go through the suit. It's sealed out. And in most times when you take any of these new type of suits off, you're gonna find dry areas all over that suit that never even had water touching it or it contacts your body. That is the biggest thing that keeps you warm. So if you have an older type suit and you get into the cold water and you instantly feel that cold water on the surface area because it's being absorbed into that suit, man, it is clearly time to upgrade a suit. I get these guys sometimes bring them in and say, here, try this out. If, if you don't like it, bring it back to me. They don't come back. They never come back to me because of that technology. I want to talk to you a little bit about that so you can see that. We've got the majestic suits. You've got a front zip. You've got back zips. You've got a no zip, which I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. So some to the technology, this is a majestic. So what happens is, is some of this newer type neoprene, they have all kinds of names for this stuff, but what it is is a fleece type of material on the inside. This is the inside of the suit. Sorry, there's gonna be some people ask me about that. It's like, man, that's very colorful. Well, what it is, is it's like a fleece type material. And what that does is keeps you warm, like wearing a fleece, basically. This is the chest area. It's so important to keep that upper body. If your chest starts to get cold, that is the source of warm blood that pumps out to your extremities, your head, your hands, your feet, your legs, whatever it may be. Your legs are the generator of that heat. So they try to get that warm in the leg areas. You can see here's your leg and here's your chest. They wanna to try to keep that warm. Then it goes out to your extremities and the wetsuits get thinner as they go out to the sleeves or your legs or where you wanna bend. So it's amazing technology, but people aren't even trying it and, and changing out. It makes a huge difference. So taped seams, I wanna talk about that. So a lower cost type suit, you're gonna see where they stitch the seam, it's glued together and stitched, done. What actually happens is, is when you're in the water for any length of period of time or you hit it, those seams, that water will go through those seams. Now they're taping them. They're taping them with a stretch type material that seals that out. So now, as you can see, this is the inside, there's no water penetrating inside of that um, it, inside of that suit. It reduces it so much. The only way that water can come in is either through the neck, the sleeves, or the legs. So you can see this taping that goes all along the seams. There's where you're spending your money. This takes a lot of extra work, but getting that thing sealed out keeps you warmer. That's why you get that dry areas inside of the suit. So putting all this technology together, the other thing is the stretch of neoprene. If you've got an old suit, and let's just say you're not cleaning it regularly, I'll talk a little bit about that in just a bit, but it, what happens is, is the neoprene begins to dry out if you don't take care of it. So it feels like it's real static on you. Not anymore. New type of suits, this stuff, I'm grabbing before the elbows, and it goes out to full stretching. It is, it's unbelievable how stretchy this type of material. So it's way less restrictive and it's not squeezing on your body so tight. If you get a, a, a wetsuit, some of the older ones that are really, really tight and they're not stretchy and gooey, that's squeezing your muscles. And when it squeezes your muscles, it makes you tired more. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of surf type suits are going thin in the arms. 
because you've got that muscle and you're and you're sitting there paddling a whole lot. So any restriction makes you tired, you get tired, you get cold, all of these add in. It's pretty crazy. A lot of people don't understand that. And I say, just get a new suit. It's worth every bit of the money that you spend to get the right suit. And nowadays, getting a size that fits you, they're so stretchy that they have a larger range of fit, which is fantastic. So they do things like this. Here's a back flap. This is a Majestic. This is one of their top type suits. And I've got this one as well as a couple other ones. I love the one, I'll talk about that. But it has these back flaps that keeps any water coming in that zipper directly contacting your back. And again, here's that warm fleecy material. It keeps your back warm, keeps your front warm to generate that blood and that warmth. So some people say back zip, front zip, no zip. I tell you sometimes I had a back zip for the longest time. I still have a back zip. It's one of my favorites, easy to get into. My shoulders are a little bit bad and it's, it's much easier to get into than a front zip. If you don't have those problems, front zips can be very, very warm. And why the reason is, is it seals that water out and it doesn't allow it into your backside. So it's all personal preference when it gets into what zipper or what you like. The back zip as well, you know, if there's something back here, a harness or whatever, it could possibly push in. I've never had that issue or, or, or hurting because of that zipper. Um, laying down and stuff like that, front zipper high, it'll never contact the board. So that's, that's that one there. Now, the new type of technology. Because of the stretch in wetsuits, they're able to create things like this. This is called the One. This has become my absolute favorite wetsuit. I love this thing. It's not the most expensive one, but it has all the technologies in there, but there is absolutely no zipper at all. You basically squeeze down in here, and at first I thought it may bother try to get into like a front zip, and it may be the same and mess with my shoulders. Absolutely not, no problems at all. But you squeeze in through the neck opening, and then it's got a flap that comes over your neck and you flip that over there. You can see it comes over like this and it seals it out. It's got a bungee in here, pulls down and seals that off once you do the final pull over your head. But the stretch of this suit is phenomenal. This is, this is the best one out there to my liking that I personally enjoy. I love my one. I've got this in a shorty long sleeve and I've got it in a full suit like this and it, it's awesome. I love it. It's got all the sealed out um, seams inside as well. You can see all the sealed seams inside of here, all glued, sealed and everything else. This is all these suits here. When you touch that water, you don't feel it contact you. It, it, it's weird. It's like it just all of a sudden a numbness. You think of that water, that wave's getting ready to hit you and you're going to get cold. It doesn't absorb into the suit. It takes forever. Only water, if you get hit and you fall and it comes down through your neck a little bit um, or in through your arms or in through your legs. As well as down on the legs, they're designing a lot of this in kiting to stop that water from shooting up your leg. They have the Velcro closures. All of these have that. Where you'll Velcro a strap around your leg there's drain holes just above it. That's the most important part. It cannot be below it. So any water that does go in, goes down through your suit and drains quickly out that leg and gets that suit back in contact with your body and keeping you warm. But this is the one, I love this thing. It's one of my favorites. If you haven't looked in a new suit, look into the Majestics, look into the ones. If you have any questions about them, about fit, don't hesitate to give us a call, but Man, when it comes down to staying warm, don't forget, take care of your suit, wash that salt out of it. Salt makes it dry out. So if you're in salt water, definitely get it, rinse the inside, rinse the outside, then let it hang up. Condition it, uh, baby shampoo is the best one to do a little late wash if you're gonna store that away. No uh, fragrances in there, you don't want that, that will dry out your neoprene. So store that away, take care of your wetsuit, it'll keep you warm for a long period of time, um, but it's basic little maintenance like that, and upgrade. I'm telling you, if you're really getting cold, 
beanies and gloves get onto your extremities, but new wetsuits, keeping that core warm will make you warm out on the water. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com to try to educate you, to keep you warmer and have much more fun on the water this winter. Hey guys, Jeff here again. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. It really helps us out in making these videos. Have a great day.